Hey folks, so today we have set sail in the 2C Beast. This is, uh, this ridiculous vehicle is a new French premium uh, low-tiered tank, if you can call it a tank, that was added with the Apex Predators update. And this is an Apex Predator um, at the lower tier. It fires this ridiculous... 7.65 kilogram explosive mass shell. Um, if you can actually hit anything with this, it's it's a bad day for them. I have no expectations that I'm going to do well in this thing because it's slow and it's a huge target, even though it's got 12 crew members. Uh, but if we get any points, we're going to fly out in the late 298D, which is the event prize from... Uh, it's the low-hanging fruit event prize from the winter 2022 event. So, the defining characteristic of this vehicle um, is, of course, its high number of crew members, uh, but it's also extremely slow. It's very easy to track. And when it gets crippled, um, you know, it just sits there on fire as you're getting, like, death of a thousand cuts. Because its turret, um, its front turret, does not have a full 360-degree traverse, uh, which is actually a pretty serious limitation. And um, that little rear turret on the back that you see rotating around, this is the little machine gun. Uh, so that's not really going to do anything against actual targets. All right, I'm going to brave coming out the long corridor here. If I can get there. Oh, yeah, so the other thing to check out, uh, take a look at my range indicators. The gun on this thing, the gun on this thing is basically a mortar. It's a very low velocity. And, you know, that's not, that's not always a bad thing. I mean, it means that you can, you can get some low angled shots without needing a lot of gun depression. I dramatically underestimated the ballistic drop. All right, I see your mark, buddy. If I can... Nothing? All right. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. This guy's going to have a bad day if I can reload. Oh, yeah! Yeah, that's that's what this ridiculous thing is for. Oh, we got more? Uh, what is that? Maybe 500 or so? Nope. Oh, way long. Way long. Okay, yeah, this guy, this guy almost certainly sees me. I'm not sure he knows what to do about me. There we go. Oh, we got another one. That's one of those Italian uh, self-propelled artilleries. That guy can actually do some damage. Uh, but his crew is all exposed, so he's in for some pain if I get this shot off. Oh, we got another one. Looks like some a little scout car. Yeah, see, I'm losing crew all over the place, but it just doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, I, something's behind me. Oh, it's a post. Okay, we still got a guy over there. Yeah, that, that Italian guy is still there. So let's turn to face him. We'll show him some front armor. Oh, no, he's dead. Uh, is that something behind, maybe? I can't really tell. Oh! Oh, no. Oh, I'm getting smacked from, like, three directions, and there's... There's almost... Oh, oh, that's a bomb! Oh, oh! Oh! Yeah, yeah, they, they got some teamwork going on me. That was... That was good. That was good work. That was good work. All right, so we're going to fly in uh, the late 298D. This is a floatplane torpedo bomber. 
at a battle rating 1.3. It counts as a premium vehicle. It's the low-hanging prize from the winter 2022 event. Um, I'm enthusiastic about this. I, I love torpedo bombers in War Thunder. I enjoy torpedo bombing, even though you very rarely get the chance to actually do it out in War Thunder's game modes. Uh, this thing only has a couple of wimpy machine guns for, like, air-to-air -air weapons. It only carries these two uh, relatively small, uh, relatively small bombs. Um, but I, I enjoy vehicles like this. I like the challenge of trying to do well, you know, in in a vehicle that isn't really overpowered in any meaningful way. Is that is that a plane? It is. Um, that isn't really overpowered in any meaningful way. Um, and doesn't really have a lot going for it. I, I enjoy that challenge. Alright, let me see if I can bomb these guys. Probably a miss. Oh, I got one! Unexpected bonus! You know, in, in a little plane like this, any time that you can actually, like, get a target... Oh! Battle of the Tail Gunners! Ah, uh, too far away. Yeah, but in, in a plane like this, any time that you can actually get a ground target, um, I think is a good day. All right, what are we shooting at here? Oh, got an assist for that Stuka. Uh, I don't have any bombs or anything, but I might be able to scout some targets for friendlies. Like that guy there, I might be able to scout. Not really going to do any serious damage. Oh. 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 Got a, got a kill on that open-topped uh, AS-42. Unexpected, but I will take it. This is actually turning out to be a relatively good sortie. All right, that guy, that flak truck is still up. I can kill that. Oh, come on, come on. How is that still alive? Ah, all right. Oh, what is that? Uh-oh. Okay, biplanes are like murder flies in a vehicle like this that doesn't turn. But if I can get the jump on him... Attention to the map. Tail gunner, go! I absolutely love using the tail gunner in a, in a little plane like this. And I'm still low-tiered enough where, uh, where a little rudder smack like that does really good work. Alright, is that guy still up? Where'd he go? I didn't see anything in the kill scroll. I see another guy back there, though, and I don't have the performance to turn on him. Uh-oh! Uh-oh, that's not good. That's that biplane. Oh, nope, that's a AAA. All right, but we're going to come down and take some pot shots down on this. And on that. Uh -oh. All right, we're just about out of ammo. Uh, I am going to see if my tail gunner can maybe... Maybe help with that. Uh, it's going to be way too far. Yeah, way too far. All right, I'm going to go try and land. And uh, this has been going pretty well. We're going to we're gonna bring these two vehicles out for a second match. Attention to the designated grid square. Hey, folks. So we are back in the 2C Beast, and we are on the new, new-ish, winter version of Poland. 
look at that. Even the T-35 is, is tiny compared to this. You know, he may be a beached destroyer, but I am a beached battleship. All right. These guys got the right idea. If we shoot these trees down, we might actually be able to, like, lob some lucky artillery shots over uh, some of these trees and stuff into the town. I mean, the, the weapon I've got is basically a mortar. So what's that going to be? Like one kilometer? I'm, I'm just going to randomly take a shot. You never know. You'll probably get nothing, but... The other... Um, what's this guy? Oh, yeah. The other sort of interesting quality that <laughs> protects the mothership... Which one, buddy? <laughs> the other uh, interesting quality with this vehicle and some of the some of the more similar like land whale kind of tanks is that where this thing is so damn slow um, you can fire on the move a lot easier than in some of these other vehicles I mean like look at this I don't I have like almost no bounce almost no bounce at all I mean you know this gun isn't really super easy to shoot given that it's basically a mortar. But, you know, even after going through going through a big hole like that, I mean, we come right back on center. So that's, that's not bad. We really just got to try and find something to shoot at. All right. Somebody just got this guy, and where did they get him from? That is the question. Attention to the map. Creep around the corner. Oh. Oh, hello. Alright, let me go over this way if I don't get, like, tracked or something in the meantime. Oh. Alright, those, those couple of vehicles are going to be real easy kills if I can actually get over here. This thing is just... Not mobile at all. They still alive? Maybe? Yes. Goodbye. Alright, that other one was a bit more of a fast mover. I think he's gone. Oh, and I got tracked. I think that was by artillery. Oh, and I'm, like, facing the wrong direction. Uh-oh, this isn't good. This this isn't good. I mean, my guns... Oh, oh. Yeah, this isn't going to be good. Oh, maybe? I got these, these branches I can't see over there. Otherwise, I'd be able to shoot that guy. Oh, no. Oh, I'm about to get smacked. This isn't good. All right, I got, I got him over there. This, yeah, this isn't good. He's gonna ammo this guy. If he has any idea what he's doing, he'll be able to ammo rack me. I don't think he knows what he's doing. Oh, that was a weird little visual glitch. I don't think he has any idea where to shoot me. Oh, man. What a mess. What a mess. This is not good. This is not going to end well. It's going to be death of a thousand cuts. Cover me! There's almost no way I'm going to survive this. No, I made it somehow. Somebody killed them while they were wasting their time on me. That was some good teamwork. Whoever that was who got those guys, you are champions. Alright. 
We're gonna go in on a... Oh, yeah, sorry, little truck. How about... You go first. No, actually, you're right. I'll go first. I'll be a human shield. Oh, all right. I guess they want to go first. Oh. And this guy clearly knows what he's doing. Yeah, this will... It looks like he's trying to ammo rack me, but he can't pen. Because he's shooting in the right spot. And my turret's out. Yeah, I'm screwed. This is just going to sit here, death of a thousand cuts. Yeah. That took, uh, that took quite a long time for them to get me, but that guy did finally death of a thousand cuts me. All right, let's fly back out in the late 298D. I love this little plane. Not seeing anything scouted. We'll get a little closer, see if we can spot some visual targets. All right, I see a couple of vehicles down there going around towards the outside edge of the town, down around the, uh, down around here. Don't think I'm going to get him. Got that second one, though, so that was something. All right, swing back around. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, no, that's a tree. All right. I've had my fun. I've gotten a kill. I'm going to try and go high risk. If we can clear out A, I'm going to try and just land on it. But I don't think we're going to clear out A. I think I got a hit on one of those dudes. Alright, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm a pincushion. Alright, here we go. Oh no! Oh, almost, almost. I'd hoped to just swing in on the other side of those buildings. Anyway. I hope you had fun. Uh, I certainly did. That was the 2C Beast, the Land Whale, and the late 298D. As always, thanks for watching.